Have you ever struggled with your own serve? Do opponents seem to return your every serve easily? I know just how you feel. And we can fix it today. Today I will share three simple tricks that will help your game and why serve in short is overrated. Let me tell you a quick story. This is me, back in 2012 when I first started playing for national team. And back then I really struggled against international competition. But one time we went to Hungary and I sucked even more. But when I thought all hope was lost and as a kid you just you become scared of trying new things whenever you were in a competition setting. I just started trying out different stuff. It just seemed that it started to click for me. I went on to win my group, beating everybody in it, and I even beat this guy. We all know it's very important to serve short, to have at least two bounces on the table. What I'm talking about is not a long serve, not a short serve. It's a serve that has a second bounce just outside the table or on the line of the table. <laughs> I want you to try it. Try, try to do a serve that you do regularly, a short serve, and then try to have it middle length with the purpose of second, second bounce, leaning just in the line. If the ball is just outside the line, it's still fine. It still counts as a middle serve. This will not only make your opponent confused about whether, whether he should attack or chop, but also can set you up for your next attacking shot. Because playing short after that ball is it's kind of tricky. When I injured my knee and I couldn't move a lot, I was looking for ways to improve uh, my game without much effort. Short serve is very, very helpful, but when you can't move as much as me, I basically shot myself in the foot and had to play short after my own short serve. But you can make your opponent make mistakes, but just adding this one little thing in your serve. Just like we did with the middle length serve, try to add more speed to your serve. I believe that this is very underrated element of any serve, but whenever we serve short, we expect the ball to kind of have a slower bounce. But when you serve a middle length serve, but also add a lot of speed to it, you serve, you just set up yourself for success for the next attacking shot. Because serving short will be slow, you're gonna give your opponent a lot of time to receive it. When you have a lot of time in, in table tennis, you're quite comfortable. What we're trying to do is make our opponents uncomfortable. So trying to add as much speed as you can while keeping it relatively short. My final point, it's all about variety. This video was made to show you how can you add something to your game. I am in no shape or form trying to tell you that you should only do a middle length serve. Variance is important. Keeping your opponent guessing is important. Spin, speed, and length are important. This video was rather trying to help you out, encourage you to try something new and add something to your game. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'd appreciate if you subscribe and like the video. Also, let me know in the comments, what is your favorite serve? Did any of my tips help you? I'd love to speak to you. I'll see you in the next video.